Today on Health Trust TV, we have Leslie Perez Ortiz and Erica Zuniga from the Health Trust to talk about their health and prevention programs for the community. We also went out for a field interview with Angelica Diaz from Community Health Partnerships to expand on their mammography program. Elena has a great demonstration about how not to spread germs, and we brought Chef Ramon from Agave Restaurant to cook some chicken with cactus salad. Next, Dr. Varner expands on the power of meditation, and Ryan Hughes, our fitness expert, has some basic stretching routines to keep our bodies healthy. All this and more on Health Trust TV. Hi everyone and welcome to Health Trust TV. I'm Adam Morella and today we'll be discussing prevention and self-care. I'd like to welcome to our studio two invaluable Health Trust employees, Erica Zuniga and Leslie Perez Ortiz. Ladies, thank you for being here today. Thank you for thank having you for us. Yeah, it's great. So Erica, let's start with you. Can you start off by telling us about the Better Choices Better Health program at Health Trust? Yes, of course. Uh, the Better Choices Better Health program is a six week program. We meet once a week for six weeks and it's two and a half hours and we actually do these workshops in the community so they can be at community centers at libraries senior centers and it's for anyone that has a chronic condition or if you're a caregiver for someone else mm -hmm. um, for example if you have diabetes if you have chronic pain asthma arthritis and those are just a couple examples um, but we encourage everyone that has one of those conditions to sign up and come to our classes because you learn a lot of valuable tools to help you manage symptoms, uh, to make long-term plans, uh, to also make sure that you know how to eat healthier, mm -hmm. how to exercise and do it in a safe way. That sounds great. What are, so what kind of clients do you guys serve? Uh, as I mentioned, this class is open to anyone in Santa Clara County, mm -hmm. of course, and you can be someone who has a chronic condition. Also, if you are a caregiver for someone that has a chronic condition okay. or a family member, it can be a very useful workshop for everyone. Okay, and so how do we go about enrolling in these programs? Uh, you can check our website mm -hmm. and check our Better Choices, Better Health program site. You can also um, call me directly to sign up. Uh, we do outreach in the community as uh, well, okay. so if you ever see us with an orange tablecloth, we'll be out there and you can sign up for it. Wow, that class. sounds great. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. So, Leslie, can you tell us about the HIV uh, prevention services you guys have at Health Trust? Yes, definitely. Uh, well, one of the programs that we do have is Positively Speaking. Mm -hmm. oh, talk about an invaluable uh, program that we offer. So, we have individuals that have been infected um, with HIV AIDS and mm -hmm. they go out into the community and they share their stories. Wow. Um, so, we've uh, expanded our services to middle school students, high school students, uh, college students. It's a really great program. Wow. So, can you talk a little bit more about the Positive Self Management program? So, that's a specific curriculum and that's for individuals. Um, that are also HIV positive okay. um, and what it really focuses on is how to live a healthy life okay. because life does go on sure. after being infected by HIV. It's a wonderful curriculum. Uh, for more information on that program, uh, anyone can go on our website. We have our information there and they can contact us regarding those, um, the positively speaking and the uh, curriculum. So Leslie, can you tell us about the Crane Center? Yes, actually the Crane Center um, is or does provide HIV testing and STD testing. Mm -hmm. For more information, uh, you can go onto our website as well as going onto the county website uh, for information, dates, and times in which the center is open. That's great. Okay, great. So, ladies, that was some really good information from you guys. We want to really thank you guys both for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us, Adam. Uh, now, let's send it over to Paloma at Community Health Partnerships. Thank you, Adam. I'm here in one of the many exam rooms of Gardner Health Center here in San Jose. And with me is Angelica Diaz, Director of Community Programs. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having us. We're gonna be discussing the important things that they do here. So can you tell us a little bit more about Community Health Programs? Sure. Community Health Partnership is a nonprofit organization of community health centers in Santa Clara and San Mateo County. Our mission is to advocate for affordable and accessible healthcare services for our diverse and multicultural community in this area, and also to support our member clinic organizations in achieving these goals. Great, okay. And so what is Community Health Partnership doing to improve the health of residents here in Silicon Valley? Community Health Partnership is working with our local community health center partners to improve the quality of and access to healthcare for those who are uninsured or have low incomes. For example, there are women in our community who need mammography screening services, but they can't afford to have one. 
and Community Health Partnership has that program for them. It's the Community Mammography Access Project, also known as CMAP. So can you expand on the program? Sure, the CMAP offers three key services. We provide health education to women in the community and meet them where they are, at libraries, at churches, at the flea market. We provide patient navigation services to new patients who need help navigating the healthcare system. And we also provide financial support to uninsured women who need mammography screenings. Okay, and so why is it so important for women to have these uh, screenings? Er early cancer detection is important and we want to increase the availability of mammography screening so that we're able to intervene when we can. That's wonderful. So how does this program work and what can women expect from this program? We work with our community health centers and other social service organizations to identify the women who need patient navigation services, health education, and the financial support. Once we identify those women, we connect them to local resources so they receive recommended breast screening. And how do people enroll? For more information, I recommend that they contact Community Health Partnership at 408-556-6605 and ask about our CMAP program. The website is www.chpscc.org. Wow, what an amazing program. Thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity, Paloma. And now let's send it over to Elena for a healthy segment. Hi, I'm Elena from the Health Trust, and today I'm going to talk about staying healthy during this flu season. Have you ever gotten sick because someone else you knew got you sick? Today, I have some tips to keep both you and others healthy. The first tip is proper hand washing. To show why hand washing is important, I'm going to do a demonstration on how germs spread. The flower that I'm putting on my hands represents germs. Keep an eye on it during the demonstration. It gets everywhere, not only on the objects that I touch, but also when I sneeze, I choo! You can see how it disperses on everything around me and stays on my hands, causing the next person who shakes my hand to get a big dose. This leads me to my next tip, the proper way of sneezing and coughing. This time when I sneeze, I'm going to cover my face with my arm and my hand. A choo! You can see how this helps to break the train of transmission. However, while proper sneezing and coughing can help prevent the spread of germs, it doesn't get rid of them. That's where hand washing comes in. What's the proper way to wash your hands? First, rinse them with warm or cold water. Next, apply soap. Be sure to lather thoroughly, getting the backs of your hands, in between your fingers, and underneath your fingernails. You should wash your hands for about 20 seconds. That's two renditions of happy birthday if you need a timer. Once you're done, rinse your hands, and then you can dry them with a towel or let them air dry. Remember, there's no evidence that antibacterial soap is more effective at killing germs than regular soap. Proper hand washing and sneezing and coughing can help keep you healthy and others as well. I'm Elena from the Health Trust, giving you the tools to make a healthy choice. Thank you, Elena. And coming up next, Chef Ramon from Agave Restaurant cooks some grilled chicken with cactus salad. And later, Ryan Hughes, our fitness expert, has some basic stretching routines. But first, a healthy tip from Ryan himself. Hi, my name is Ryan Hughes with Health Trust TV, reminding you to eat breakfast. Breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day because you've just slept for six to eight hours, and now your body is starving in need of energy to support your rest of your day. So start off with a quick breakfast, maybe some egg whites with a half cup of oatmeal and a half banana. It'll give you enough packed protein and carbohydrates to fuel your day and your workouts. Remember, stay healthy. How do you do health? I bike to work at least once a week. I go for walks during my work breaks. I choose real food when I snack. I do yoga once a week. I choose water over soda. I go to the gym three times a week. 
I ride DTA on the weekend. This year I'll be running four half marathons. We're headed to a healthier place. Join us. This message is brought to you by the Health Trust. Hey everyone, welcome back to Health Trust TV. And today for our cooking segment, we're here at Cachina Bambini with Chef Ramon from Agave Mexican Bistro in Mountain View. Chef, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. Thank yeah, you. We're Thank glad you so to have much. you. So, so what kind of healthy meal are you going to be showing us how to today make today? Today we're going to make a salad. A salad, okay. Uh -huh. with grilled chicken and some cactus. Sounds great. So we got our important vegetables and lean protein. So right. you said cactus, huh? Uh huh. That's new to me. So, so <laughs> what, what's going on with the cactus? Well, in Spanish is called nopales. Okay. So it, this is a very, very uh, healthy uh, vegetable. Like you say, you know, um, can uh, lower your cholesterol. Great. I mean, it's it's very, very good. It you also has eat. a little bit of health benefits with blood pressure. Am I right? Correct. Correct. Okay. You can even raw or you can cook them. You can grill it. So it's it's better anyway. That sounds awesome. Okay. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the ingredients that we have today for the salad. Uh, I have fresh cucumbers, fresh tomatoes, fresh cilantro, mm. chopped tomatoes also, slices of red onions. I have my fresh nopales, fresh jalapenos, fresh limes, avocados, and some protein in here. That sounds great. So we've got a bunch of different colors on here, different antioxidants, different mm. vitamins and minerals, all great for, for prevention and self-care. So let's, uh, how do we prepare this? What's going um, on next? I'm going to uh, get going down a little bit. My pan in here with a little bit of olive oil and canola oil. Okay. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic, fresh garlic mm. with olive oil on top of my chicken. Sounds great. Okay. A little bit of salt. Put it on the side until my pan is getting ready. Okay. Okay. So throw those guys right in there. Right there. Now, did you marinate this chicken breast? Yes, with the special spices that we use at the restaurant, which has probably like 20 different ingredients. Oh, wow. But uh, all healthy stuff, I'm guessing, yeah. right? <laughs> okay. Okay. And then I want to start slicing um, my cactus. Okay. Start going to salad. Today, I want to show you um, a different way to, to, uh, to cook the... Uh, the cactus. cactus. Okay, I'm interested. I'm I never cook it cactus. only with salt. Oh wow, just with salt. Just with salt. Okay. My quantity of salt. You just get it with your little pans. You kind of massage the salt mm, in there. Exactly. Okay. A little bit of salt. And what? And what exactly? How does that cook that? Uh, we cook in this way to keep all the colors, mm, keep the flavor. Yeah. And uh, it just depends how much time you you, you can. Uh, let them sit on the salt. Okay, so it's going to maintain like the, the vitamins and correct, nutrients, right? Correct, that's the most important thing. Yes, we know that most vegetables are water-soluble vitamins, so when we boil them too much, we lose a lot of the health benefits, That's right? correct, so okay. we're trying to keep the green color, all the proteins, all the minerals, all the vitamins mm -hmm. in here. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to sit for a little bit, and with the magic of the television, I have yeah. one ready to go. Great. Give me one minute. Sure. So we're going with chicken breast, I'm guessing, because it's a little bit of a leaner meat versus the thighs and the legs, right? Correct. So a little bit less fat, Correct. okay. What I'm doing right here, as you see. Oh, wow. Cactus has a little of the slime. Yeah. So I'm putting in a strain, see? Oh. To take out all the slime in here. Okay. That's interesting. I've, I've never cooked cactus and I've never seen, <laughs> the, never seen it cooked that way either. <laughs> really? Okay, here we go. Okay. So, what do we got coming on next here? I'm gonna start putting all the ingredients to get going my salad. Okay. So, are the rest of the ingredients, they, are they gonna stay raw? All raw. All raw, okay. so all raw and fresh. Yes. Put a little bit of the uh, cucumbers, some fresh tomatoes. Perfect. So, when we're talking about prevention and self-care, uh, the raw vegetables are actually going to provide a lot more nutrients and vitamins, that's, right, than the cooked right. vegetables. That's so the main thing here. So. It's a pretty common theme we see in, in healthy food is, is a little bit more raw, right? Correct. Okay. Tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes. All right. We're going to put a little bit of red onions. Okay. A little bit of cilantro. A little bit. Is that a jalapeno? Correct. All right. Spice we like it up spicy a little bit. Stuff, so. 
I'm starting to smell okay. good over here. Let's put a little more of this. Some cucumber. Yeah. Okay. Man. And so the chicken's pretty thin, right? So it cooks pretty fast, huh? Yes. So this meal doesn't take too long to no, prepare. No, it doesn't All take right. too long. So healthy and quick, so that, that makes everybody's life easier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Fresh, healthy, fast lunch. Let's see, a little bit of tomatoes. Yep. Then we're gonna add a little bit of salt. A little bit more salt. I'm gonna put a little bit of the uh, fresh lime. Mm, okay, so we're squeezing squeeze. some fresh lime. Correct. All right. Wow, that looks great. That looks great, Ramon. Then agave nectar. Agave nectar. To get the sweetness, the sour, the fresh of the vegetables. So good. So agave nectar is a great way to get that sweetness without the, the downsides of just straight Everything sugar, has to be right? Organic. Okay, yeah. You know, healthy. All right. Okay. So the secret ingredient, huh? Correct. Okay. Let's start with my hands. Kind of toss bit. that up. Yeah. Mm hmm And then to make the presentation. I'm gonna get this plate here. Okay. And at the restaurant, we always decorate the plates with banana leaves. Banana leaves? Yes. Okay, so presentation so makes everything a little better. Everything has to be, you know, fresh. Okay. With presentation, like a little agave. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna add all the salad here. Wow, that looks really good, okay. Ramon. See that? Yeah. And then guess what, we got some Nopal is ready to go in here. Okay. So is that a leafy green or? Yeah. So, so typically. It's banana leaves. Oh, okay, okay. It's the banana leaves. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I'm anxious to try this. I have not <laughs> tried cactus before. <laughs> Great. And then um, I have some chicken in here some ready chicken's to go. already made, okay. Yes, so I want to do some slices to put it in the top. Beautiful. Starting to look really nice. <laughs> Thank you. I'm getting hungry in Thank here. You. <laughs> yeah. All right, a couple more slices. Couple more slices. There we go. Some garnishes on top with a little avocado. All right. And I have a next thing here. All right. So I'm gonna and grab some. a fork to take a bite. Sounds great. This looks amazing. Yes, please. So before I take a bite, I want to say thank you to Chef Ramon from Agave pleasure, Mexican pleasure. Bistro in so Mountain View. Thank you. We want you to stay with us because coming up next, we have, we have our fitness expert, Ryan, who's going to show us some great exercises. But before we go to Ryan, I'm going to send it off to Dr. Werner because she's going to go over a very important health message for all of us at home. Hi there and welcome. I'm Dr. Jane Varner from the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, here with the doctor's message. For so many of us, life is busy, stressful, even overwhelming at times. It seems like there are so many things to worry about. Work, kids, aging family members, finances, relationships, personal health, the list is long. Well. Worry can take a serious toll on your health. While it may feel impossible to change your circumstances, you can change how you react to them. Millions of people all over the world have been practicing meditation for thousands of years. Broadly speaking, meditation brings an individual to a relaxed state of being. Over time, Many researchers have studied the effects of meditation on both the mind and the body. Regular meditation has been shown to be not only a powerful tool to manage stress, but has also been shown to help depression, boost immunity, lower blood pressure, reduce pain, and even help fight allergies. All meditation rests on the concept that there is a deep connectedness of mind and body. There are many forms of meditation. Some are religious and some are not. Some common types of meditation include guided imagery, mantra meditation, mindfulness, qigong, tai chi, and yoga. Here are four key suggestions for successful meditation. Number one. Focus your attention on something such as an image or mantra 
in order to free your mind from distractions that may cause you stress and worry. Number two, control your breathing so that you take slow, deep, even breaths, allowing you to breathe more efficiently. Number three, put yourself in a quiet environment with no distractions, such as television, radio, or cell phones. And finally, number four, find a comfortable position. Some forms of meditation require stillness, and some, such as yoga or tai chi, require a series of movements. You may want to try several before you decide which one is right for you. Again, I'm Dr. Jane Varner with The Doctor's Message. Coming up next, our fitness expert, Ryan Hughes, covering some great stretching. But first, a healthy tip from one of our community members. Hi, I'm Ash Kalra. It's time to take charge of your health. Schedule an appointment with your healthcare provider to discuss what screenings and exams you need and when you need them. Regular health exams and tests can help find problems before they start. They also can help find problems early when your chances for treatment and cure are better. By getting the right health services, screenings, and treatments, you are taking steps that help your chances for living a longer, healthier life. Your age, health and family history, lifestyle choices, and other important factors impact what and how often you need health care. For more information on going to the doctor or to learn how to enroll for health coverage, visit healthtrust.org. Hi, my name is Ryan Hughes, and today we're going to discuss a little bit about stretching. Stretching is crucial for any kind of training regimen. Um, obviously, you want to loosen up the muscles that you're training, but for more important reasons, you want injury prevention. Um, so you're going to do a little bit of warm-up stretching before and after exercise, and we'll take you through some basic stretches today for the upper body and for the lower body. So let's start off with the first stretch. You're going to take one arm, reach straight up, bend back, and with your other arm, just kind of pull back on your elbow. This is great for the shoulders and for the back of the arms, the triceps there. You're gonna hold each stretch for about 15 to 20 seconds. And then we'll switch. So the second arm, same thing, straight up. And pull back, holding again 15 to 20 seconds on both arms. After we do that stretch, we're going to hit a second stretch, which is gonna be for the hamstrings, the back of the legs here. This one's really basic. We'll stand feet about shoulder width apart. And you're gonna come straight down with your hands as low as you can. If you can touch your toes, great. If you can't, it's no problem. You just wanna focus on keeping your legs straight. You don't wanna bend the knees too much. A slight bend if needed. Reach down as far as you can, and we're going to hold this one again, 15 to 20 seconds. It's a great stretch for the hamstrings, the glutes, the back of the legs there. And we'll come back up. So we have the, the arms and the hamstrings stretch. Now we're going to get down on the ground here. All right, now we're going to stretch the hip flexors out. The stubborn muscles right in the inner thigh here. We're going to pull both of your toes, feet together. Bring them in as close as you can and lean forward, just like that. And this is gonna stretch the inside of the, the thigh there. It's a great stretch. It's one of the muscle groups that's very often tight in a lot of individuals, especially if you're doing any kind of cardio. We're gonna hold this again for 15 to 20 seconds, just like that. And we'll get one final stretch. This one we're gonna flip over onto our front side here. We're gonna get down and push up on your hands just like that. This is a great stretch for your abdominal regions and also your lower back. Look straight up, see if you can get the best of a stretch as you can, stretching all this whole abdominal core region here. And again, the lower back, holding this for 15 to 20 seconds. And good. If you're still feeling tight, you can run through these two to three rounds make sure you're really loose 
and uh, nice and stretched out before you start exercising. And again, you can do this after exercise as well, just to prevent over tightening after you work out. My name is Ryan Hughes. This is Health Trust TV, reminding you to stay healthy. Well, that's our show for today. Remember, everything you learned and more can be found on our website, www.healthtrust.org. Join us next time as we bring Silicon Valley the latest in health. Thanks for watching Health Trust TV.